In the Define phase, we identified and prioritized the problems of the outputs with the help of experts. In the Measure phase, we will identify the triggering influences of the problems in the input and in the process also with the help of experts. We will relate influences to problems and formulate hypotheses about these relationships and differences. Additionally, we will operationalize the influences and the problems for the measurement and collect the respective data for X and Y. We start with the input analysis and focus on the inputs already defined in the SIPOC. We will specify our requirements on the inputs and classify them to one of the categories quality, availability and consumption. We will also specify the deviations from the requirements and estimate the probability of their occurrence. We continue with the process mapping analysis and divide the process steps of the SIPOC into activities, from the first input to the last output of the SIPOC. We assign intermediate inputs and outputs to the activities, as well as their associated methods and resources. This increased transparency allows us to identify the negative triggering influences of the methods and resources in the activities on the problems of the outputs. Finally, we will estimate the probability of the occurrence of negative influences. In the C&E matrix, the experts estimate the impact strength of the relationships of the influences on the problems. Then we will identify the strongest influences on the problems as basis for statistical hypothesis. Finally, we will check the overall determination of each problem by the influences to evaluate whether really all problems can be traced back to their triggering influences. The data collection plan prepares the measurement or collection of data of influences and problems. At first, we operationalize the influences and the problems as measurable variables. Then we determine the scale level of these variables, we define specification limits and targets, and plan a measurement system analysis if necessary. We determine the sample size and plan the graphical representation of the variables, determine parameters, the process capability indices, and suitable control charts. Finally, we transfer the relationships between the problems and their influences into the framework of statistical hypothesis. SigmaGuide automatically formulates these statistical hypotheses based on the given information. SigmaGuide also calculates the relevance of each hypothesis for the problem as risk and suggests an appropriate statistical test to check the hypothesis. The purpose of the measure phase is thus to prepare the data collection and to determine the methods for their analysis. These methods are then applied in the analyze phase, in which we finally want to identify the root causes of the triggering influences of the problems.